So one of the questions I get asked the most when people looking to move down here to South Florida is, what is the most walkable town or what's the most walkable city? Well, today I'm gonna to show you what I think is the most walkable city here in South Florida, and it's Delray Beach. Hey there, I'm Palm Beach Paul, your local realtor and guide to South Florida living, and welcome back to my channel. So one of the questions I get often from people who are moving down here is, Paul, what is a very walkable area? Where can I live and walk to restaurants and shopping and the beach and everything? And although there are a few places here in South Florida, I don't think any place touches Delray Beach. So Delray Beach just has anything and everything that you'd wanna to walk to. I mean, all the dining on Atlantic Avenue, you have Pineapple Grove, where I'm at right now, and you could stay in one of the new hotels, uh, like the Ray, and which is in Pineapple Grove, and literally walk 10, 15 minutes, and you're right on Atlantic Avenue with all the dining and shopping. And if you want to, you could also walk to the beach. I've done it. It's a little bit of a walk from here, but in the winter when it's nice and cool out, it really wouldn't be that bad. So what I'm gonna do for you today is walk from one spot to one of the popular spots like the office, which is right on Southeast 2nd and Atlantic Avenue. So it's kind of like the epicenter right there. It's right in the middle. All the restaurants are on each side of it and show you how long it takes to walk from one spot to another. So I'm down in Pineapple Grove and I'm going to use my Google Maps and we're just going to put in the address and show how long it takes to walk from there. Then I'll go to a couple of other spots, a couple of other condo buildings here in Delray, and we'll look and see what it would take to walk from that condo building back to the office over there in the center of Delray. So giving you an idea of how long it would take you to walk, the distance, and then we'll talk about some condos, some prices of those condos along the way. All right, let's get started. So this is Pineapple Grove where I'm at right now. And you can see the restaurants, some condo buildings. And of course, right over here is the Ray Hotel, which is one of the newer hotels here in Delray Beach. And you're literally a 10 minute walk to Atlantic Avenue, but there's lots of great dining and shopping right here. So Yama, Japanese restaurant I used to eat here with my coworkers is a great restaurant. And it's right across the street from the Ray Hotel. And as you come out, you can see there's another shopping center over here. You have Christina's, you have Papa's Tapas, which is a great tapas restaurant, and then some other places that are in there, some other newer uh, businesses that I'm not familiar with. And speaking of walk, we are right here in front of City Walk. So if you're looking for a condo to be right here in Pineapple Grove, which is a great place to live, and you wanted to live in City Walk, uh, currently, you can get a two-bedroom, two-bath condo for about $1,250,000. Uh, that is a unit that's been on the market. I think it's still available, and it's about 2,122 square feet. So that gives you an idea of what it might cost to live in a condo here. Now, there's some other places up and down the avenue with different prices, but if you want to live right here in kind of uh, the Pineapple Grove area next to everything that you see around me, then that's what it's going to cost. But that's the price you're gonna pay to be able to walk to everything in Delray Beach. And then you have restaurants like Brulee, which is a really popular restaurant as well. And there's a couple shops. And then, as I said, across over here, you have the Ray Hotel, which has their roses up top. You have their pool deck up there and a restaurant, which is uh, really nice. I actually haven't had a chance to go up there and eat or drink yet. I've just been up there to take a look at it, but it is really nice. And then a couple other places. So I'm gonna get my map and let's see how far it is to walk from City Walk to the office up here on Atlantic Avenue. All right, so I don't know if you can see that on my app, but from here to the office, it is 0.3 miles and it's a six minute walk. So let's go. Now another condo building is right up there as you see where I'm pointing the camera and that's called Pineapple Grove Condos. And there was a two bedroom, two bath on the market there for about 625,000 for a while, but it did come off the market. Now the only thing about that community is the railroad track is right on the other side. So some of the units, some of the units back patios are right there on the railroad track. So. Even with impact windows, you're definitely going to hear it. So uh, that's the only downside to that, but it's still a great place and you're really close to everything. And you have a really good Irish bar, like literally steps from your front door. All 
didn't know that, but voted best sandwich in town. They've been here in Delray serving everyone for 20 years. So, but I've been in this unit here, I actually showed that unit a long time ago. And then you have some other units over there. Um, and then you have the rest of them back over there. So, you know, maybe if you live on this side, um, probably more expensive, but you're not right on the railroad track. But still, it's close and you're right there in Pineapple Grove. So you're close to everything. So, um, but uh, let's keep walking. We have Addison's Gallery here, nice art gallery. And we're right here on Northeast 2nd Avenue and Northeast 2nd Street. Now Lulu's is a, a newer restaurant. It's really popular. And most times when I come by, it is really crowded. The Grove, which I think is only open for dinner. I'm not sure. It's still early right now while I'm recording. And you got some other little shops. I've also heard this is a good ramen place, Ramen 369. I've been to Ramen Lab, but I haven't had a chance to check that out. And then there's a spa. And then another popular restaurant that opened up is right here. Rose's Daughter. And uh, this is another restaurant that seems to be uh, doing well and has a good crowd. Delray sign. It's just cool, Delray art. But uh, so here we've got a hair studio and uh, here's some other businesses. We're about halfway there. And then to my right, you got the Hyatt place. You have another condo that's been here for a while. And um, you know, that one's a probably uh, a little less expensive than the Ray. Um, I've checked the rates, but I've had some customers who actually stayed there. So here's a little pro tip. You can park in there for free until 4 p.m at least Monday through Friday. I don't think on weekends, but uh, not a lot of free parking in Delray. So park there. Um, and even if you do park after, it's not that expensive, but um, it's easy to pull in. It's a garage, it's in the shade, which is much needed on a day like this. And, uh, and then you're right next to Old School Square and all the action that uh, takes place here, especially during the holiday season where they do the 100 foot Christmas tree um, and a lot of activities go on right here. Now, if you look right back there, that yellow building, you've seen it before. When I gave away my skateboard this summer, that was from the Surf District in Delray Beach. I've worn a lot of their shirts and hats in my videos and uh, that's where that is. So that's a cool little local shop. And uh, you have the Arts Garage over here. They do a lot of like the uh, art events in there. Really kind of cool. And then this building with a super cool mural right here. This is um, Pure Life. So it's a fitness center and uh, health food establishment. So they have like a bar, restaurant, and then they got a whole uh, place back there that you can uh, you know, do all your exercising. So, I'm not sure what they're doing here, but it looks like I got some kind of exercise obstacle course. So, so that's Old School Square right here. And uh, this whole big area right here during the holidays, it's great because they have the 100 foot Christmas tree that'll go right there and they light it up. It's real festive, it's a great event. Um, I cannot wait for those uh, months to get here when it's cooler out. And um, they do lots of other events here and stuff. And then you've got the back there, the stage where Jimmy Buffett played recently when he came back after the first concert from uh, you know the, the shutdown and all that. He held a three day concert over there. I tried to get tickets. They went like that quick. I mean, literally I've gone in seconds, but uh, it would have been cool to see Jimmy right there in an intimate setting. But anyway, maybe another time, Mr. Buffett. And then um, just uh, some parking and stuff around here. And then uh, that's the back of the parking garage I was telling you about. All right, we're almost to Atlantic Avenue. See, told you it didn't take that long. And then right here you have Ramen Lab, this is a great uh, ramen restaurant. I've eaten here a couple times, really good. Definitely check that out. Like I said, I want to check out the other one down the way back there, but that's a great restaurant to go to. And uh, you got Salon 
And uh, I've never had the pizza here, but I always see people coming in and getting pizza there. So a little pizza spot. All right, so back there was one of the coolest Mexican restaurants, El Camino, really popular place, good drinks, good food. And here we are at the office. This is another great place. Sit out here, people watch, have a cold beer, good burgers. And uh, we are right here at Atlantic Avenue. So Atlantic and uh, Northeast Second Avenue. So you can see everything's right around here. A lot of restaurants, kind of like the center of Atlantic and downtown Delray Beach. And then you've got Starbucks and a whole bunch of other restaurants right here. All the shopping that's right here, Tommy Bahamas and all the restaurants that are right here. It's a very walkable city. Great sidewalks, they actually widened the sidewalks over the years. And um, you know, you can park, but you gotta pay all along Atlantic Avenue. But uh, there's a lot of valets and you got all these great dining options for sitting right here and just enjoying it. As I said, when the season gets here and it's cooler out, uh, there's nothing better than uh, an evening on Atlantic Avenue, uh, you know, have some dinner with friends and drinks and doing all the people watching. Tons of places to eat, lots of bars and lots of art and shopping to do, all walking. So, all right, I'm gonna go to another condo building and we're gonna look how far it takes, uh, how long it takes to walk from that condo building to Atlantic Avenue to give you an idea. You're probably asking me, Paul, how far is it to walk to the beach? Well, it's not that far, but I already did that in a live stream video. And if you click the link at the end of this video, Delroy Beach Walking Tour Live, you can watch me do it. I'm not gonna do it today. It is literally about 98 degrees out, but it feels like it's 105 and I'm already dying. And it is a good walk to the beach. So click that link and you can see for yourself. But I'd say it takes you a half hour to get there. We're getting ready to walk right by the relatively new Delray Beach Market. Um, did a video on that place as well. Pretty cool, it's all indoor food hall. Lots of, you know, lots of uh, choices for uh, restaurants and there's a little shopping in there. There's like a little surf shop, part of a main surf shop that's up the road, Nomad. So I've done a video on this place. So let's just walk through real quick. If you wanna see what it's like in the full video, then go watch that video. I'll put a link up above. So let's go. So now we're at another condo building, but this time we're at 111 Southeast First. So we're south of Atlantic Avenue. So we're just on the other side of where we were before at Pineapple Grove. And here you can get a two bedroom, two bath condo for about 1,213 square feet for $1,150,000. So these are relatively new as well, a couple of years old, but the difference between here and where we are at CityWalk is that you don't have as much immediately right by you because if I spin around, you can kind of see this building, some old building there, some empty lots over there. So all most of this stuff's been bought up, so they will be developing something here. But right now, um, not a lot. So, but if you head north, right, as so we're heading back towards Atlantic Avenue, then there's restaurants right up the street and the office is only five minutes away. So basically Atlantic Avenue and the bars and restaurants are about four to five minutes. So there's not as much right here when you walk out your front door as far as shopping and dining, but five minutes and you're on Atlantic Avenue and you have everything right there. And as you can see, I'm right back here at the epicenter of downtown Delray Beach. Farmhouse, kitchen, the office, and uh, the other shops. The thing you'll find out about Delray Beach is that there's a lot of sidewalks. So I said, it is a very walkable town. It's also a very bike friendly town. They have a lot of bike lanes, but um, I know that y'all have asked about walkability. There are some other towns and I'll work on some other videos. West Palm Beach is pretty walkable. Downtown Lake Worth is pretty walkable, um, but there's not too many other places that I would call walkable in Palm Beach County. You need to go down south, Fort Lauderdale, South Beach, places like that. But those are totally different markets than what I work in. So for Palm Beach County, I don't think there's anything else as walkable as Delray Beach. It just seems to have everything you want, uh, shops, restaurants, dining, entertainment, scenery, um, and is 
it gets into the cooler months, it's going to get better and better. They had an art festival down here just this past uh, weekend that was uh, pretty interesting, and uh, they do that every year, and they'll do more of those um, as the season comes along. If you like this video, do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to uh, click the links at the end because you can see some of the other videos. Like I told you, the walking video I did of Delray Beach where I walked all the way from Pineapple Grove to the beach and other videos about what it's like to live here in Delray and South Florida. So if you have any real estate needs here in South Florida, reach out and I'll be happy to help. I've been a local realtor for the past 11 years, lived in South Florida for 30 years, and I'm happy to help you. Until next time, when you're in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise. Peace.